All right, guys, it is that time of the year. We are transitioning from summer to fall-ish. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I reorganize and get my small closet all ready and a few of the outfits that I've been pulling from from that haul I shared last week. All right, I'm not even going to lie, guys. It's a wreck. <laughs> this is <laughs> the current state of my closet. So I'm going to clean this out take out things that are mainly like summer and get it a little bit ready for fall stuff. Not sure if I'm going to pull out fall just yet, just because it's so hot, but I'm going to get rid of stuff that I know that I'm like done wearing for summer, if that makes sense. Today is the first day of fall, so it's still 100 degrees. Let's go. So as you can see here, I am starting to pull all of the things, the patterns that are for spring and summer or the colors that are spring and summer. Uh, it may be fall here, but it is still very hot. <laughs> we live in Florida, so yeah. I'm keeping things that will work and getting rid of things that are just screaming summer to me. So what I'm doing is I'm folding these items up and I'm putting them on my bed and I'm going to show you how I'm going to organize those for the transition phase that we're in, like a soft fall phase. Hello. Hola. Mm. Que pasa? I know how engines work. You do? Yeah. Was that fun to like help daddy with all that? Yeah. It's like you kind of don't want to learn it because you just want to be it, you know, doing what you want to do, but it'll be so helpful to know it, you know? My favorite part was when I asked what would happen if we left one of the paper towels in there, and then daddy said it would burn it. So you gotta be really careful, don't you? Yeah, well, then I took 10 minutes to That was very smart of you. And diligent. And by 10 minutes, I mean 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Good job, Tootie. Keeping us safe. So that was Nash. Him and Archie were helping Sean to change the oil in his Jeep. So he was informing me of all of the things he's learning. So the more you know, you know. Anywho, I am still going through all of my things. As you can see, like some of the things I'm pulling out from the back here. This is where I store some of my clothes that I didn't really want to fold up. Like, you know, just the ones that might get creased or my jackets, stuff like that. I just, I have this little nook back there that I can hide those types of things. So that's where I'm at at this point. And I'm going to start to fold together and put together all of my swimsuits, which I'm not ready to put away. Uh, as today, we're going to the beach. So I'm just wanting to make space for them up here, up top here, and just so that they're able to be reached if I need them. But also that I'm not taking up vital space on my little chest of drawers uh, that I'll show you in just a bit. All right, here we are so far. I took out the stuff that I know that I'm not gonna wear. I kept a couple things like my pink tennis dress and stuff like that because I'm just not sure. And then these two button ups, I'm not sure they're pretty spring and summer, but like I said, we're not like in <laughs> fall temps yet. So I'm just keeping it things that kind of can transition. So now I'm going to clean up the shoes and yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see, I have a very small space to store all of my shoes. So I store a lot of my sandals on that three-tiered shelf I showed you just a minute ago. And then I put a lot of my workout shoes and my boots and kind of my dressier shoes over on that shelf, the shoe shelf. And then I just lay out the shoes that I'm gonna pull from the most. All right, shoes are organized. These are kind of my might give away, <laughs> I'm not sure. And then I have like other shoes. I have some that are pretty spring and summery, but I'm just gonna leave them in here for right now. But I definitely have all my fall ones out. And then back here, I have all my sandals and stuff. Okay. So now I'm gonna just add in the fall pieces. I've already decluttered the things I know that I wanna get rid of. And now I'm just gonna add those pieces in. These are kind of the bags that I pull for the most. I'm gonna take this one off because this one's a spring, a spring bag. So I'm gonna put that away. And then, huh, yeah, I don't go through my purses or my hats because I just keep those in there all year. So it'll just stay up there. And then I'm just gonna leave my bathing suits for now. I'm not gonna really like go through any of that right now. And I'm not ready to put those away because I'm still using them. So once I do my big like when it's actually chilly, I'll go through all that stuff and put it away. But for now, I'm just gonna do this and try to get back to using all just these hangers because it just looks nicer. As you can see, I have a very small closet. I mean, it's pretty standard, but it's definitely not your walk-in. So I don't think of myself as a capsule wardrobe person, per se, but the more I watch other people's wardrobe kind of videos and stuff, I'm like, maybe I am. Um, it's kind of how I feel about minimalism. Like, I'm definitely not a minimalist, but I'm not like an overconsumption person. So yeah, I don't know. But tell me what you think. Like, do you think that this looks like I kind of have a capsule wardrobe or no? Do I just have a smaller wardrobe? Like I said, I have a couple more things that are more fall and winter, but we are just not ready for those yet. But pretty much this is as much of the clothes that I have for each season. And of course, I have to pull out and store the past or future seasons. I have to always be in that present season with a closet of this size. And I've mentioned this before, you know, I don't really go, I like to purchase things that I like that are maybe on trend, 
but I don't follow trends exactly, you know, you will see me in things from like 2020, 2018, I really don't care about that, but what I do like to do are the things that I'm not sure about, for instance, that jean vest that I pulled up, I am not sure if I still want to keep that, so I'm pulling that to the front to see if I pull at it, if I don't, then I will either give it away or try to sell it, and that will be that. I like to put all of the bags that I pull from on these hooks over here, and that to me just feels the best. Also, they're like my nicer purses, so I don't really want to put them up into the bin that I have for all of my purses. Right, now I'm going to put all of this into here. And then this is kind of going to be my reassess once I pull out all of my fall and winter clothing. I'm not ready to do that just yet because like I said, the other fall stuff that I have is like fall fall and that won't happen for us for like at least another month. <laughs> so I have enough to get me through until like end of October and then it'll be chillier. And so I'll pull out the rest of my stuff um, probably mid-September, but or we are mid-September, what am I talking about? Not mid-September, mid-October, I will pull out the rest of my fall stuff and I'll share that with you guys. But this is like an interim summer to fall type of situation. So I'm gonna put all this into here and then assess that later. Don't mind my bed, I am uh, cleaning the sheets because it is Sunday. All right, so here is the finished product. Looks so much better. And like I said, this is like an interim summer to fall because it's still summer weather, <laughs> but bringing some fall vibes, you know what I mean? So I will still be pulling some of this stuff and adding in my really like my fall to winter. Like I'll probably pull these types of things and then replenish them with my other stuff. But yeah, this is where we're at and I'll share with you guys some of my favorite kind of things that I've pulled together, some looks that I've pulled together for this interim period now. And then for those of you that will probably ask, my friend, we did a white elephant gift exchange last year for Chrismica and I got Brittany, so she stays right there. And then this is a little jewelry box from my grandma, my nanny. Then I have pictures of the kiddos. I need to get a frame for this one. And then ooh, ooh, Polly's behind there. <laughs> and then me with my grandpa. These are special little pearls from my grandma. This is, I need to get it fixed if I can. This jewelry box was given to me by my dad in high school. I've had it since then. So I need to get this drawer fixed and these knobs, but I just, I try to keep it in good condition because I just love it so much and my dad gave it to me. So yeah, that's about it. These drawers are stocked full of all of the undergarments, workout and t-shirts and pajamas. And so yeah, we're ready to go. All right, so that is a look at my little closet and how I kind of try to keep it organized. Of course, it gets to be a mess every once in a while. And yeah, I'm going to share with you guys now a couple looks from this week and whatever else I can pull together to kind of show you guys for a try on from pieces of the haul I shared in the last video. All right, so here's today. I'm just wearing some workout shorts, a little slouchy top from Airy. Workout shorts are from Walmart, Patagonia. And then I'm just wearing my new, or uh, new balances. Okay, I'm actually going to get my nails done because, <laughs> and I either can go get my nails done or go to the gym because I only have an hour that I'm not gonna be able to work or that I can take off work today because we have after school sports. So I'm gonna choose to get my nails done. So here's before looking like a mess this one popped off yesterday here we go and here is a look at my nails so cute right they came out super duper cute so tonight's look is a free people 
This is the um, jumpsuit and I've had this for a while and I just put a tank top underneath it and I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks. I've got my little hoops and then I've got my little necklaces, really easy wedding band, nothing crazy. It's what I'm wearing tonight. So that's one look that I'm going to be wearing a lot during the fall. Obviously I didn't share this in my haul, but this is one of my favorite things to wear during the fall. All right. And then here is a really awkward look at <laughs> my date night look. We were just going to go out for some hibachi and our babysitter was getting there and I wanted to show you guys how this shirt came out. Like I said, it's a little bit oversized. I call it my Beetlejuice shirt, but I wore that with my J. Crew straight leg pants and a little booty and I liked it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe and let me know below.